Duh, I but forgot to hit record. If they Duh. heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lilith? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark, and the fire will consume us all. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Borrow something? Oh, you've come to borrow the cleansing bell, yes? Apart from that, I don't have anything of value that you youngsters might want. But it was not originally mine, either. That trinket used to belong to a friend of mine. I was a vain beauty when I was young, and I would pester him for that bell all the time. He could not dissuade me, and so he gave it to me. But he said that if someone should come to borrow it, I must not be loath to give it away. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help with chores if you have any, too. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Whoa, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's gotta be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? What? There's no way Paimon would fit in there. <laughs> and why do you need Paimon to go in anyway? Can't you just lift the lid and look inside? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. I actually quite like this old lady. I've always been a more fond of talking to the older people than younger. Although, it just means they have more to say. And you learn more from them. It's actually quite fun. You guys should try it sometime. Alright. So, I cannot scroll. We will. Da, 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 da. We are back in Genshin Impact, by the way. Whoosh! And... Anyone want to guess where we are? Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Whoa, that sounds like Granny's voice. So, this is her What? What's going on? Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. 
Sorry to trouble you children. Please help an old lady clean up. That would be quite simple. I actually quite enjoy this level design. Like, whenever it comes to you know, B-Way, it's so interesting. I... How long has it been since Granny last swept this place? Which also means elemental attacks hit it twice as hard, guys. Like with Leeway, it's so innovative. I am very curious you to see know, what the next area pulls with off. Such a special teapot and the cleansing bell. Do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? Hmm, I don't know, Paimon. Oh crap! 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 crap. I'm more and more convinced that she's an adeptus. But don't they all live in Chilion Karst? No. Or why would she stay in the city? Yeah. I will leave that up to you guys. Why do you all think? Oh, come on. Loaded kiss? Oh, what the heck is that attack? That's a new one from Ice Ones to me. Healer and give him a quick zap up to a better hoe. Oh crap. Crap! Or do what I do. Okay, clicking is not what I wanted to do. See how I kind of waited for my moment Time there? For retribution. Ha! Ha! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Foods. That'll heal me up. <sighs> uh, another wind current. How many oh, yeah. levels does this teapot have? It would be nice if we had one of these, too. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. Hmm, I wonder if the old lady can hear us. What do you think? Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Now, let me s All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. Remember this. Overload is one of my favorite elemental reactions, as you saw how much damage it did. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. An adeptus. I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. Uh, <laughs> Hyman kinda knows what you mean, but is also kinda confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, 
don't be silly. Liyue Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Hey! It belongs to Granny! We're supposed to return what we borrow! Oh, let you keep it. <laughs> but this bell gets homesick sometimes. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. Hmm. Now, about Monsieur Zhongli. Because I'm sorry, but there's just a certain few hints that the storytellers are loving to drop here. And I absolutely love the devs. But I just such a subtlety in this entire Indeed. game. Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Of course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes! That old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite for- <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. So now, <laughs> I have to go buy some. Oh, I'm going to do a little thing. I probably can't do it for too long because of copyright, but. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. I was going to hum a song, but sheesh. And that is all I am going to mention. Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites. Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we... Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Longsheng... We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about... Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> 
Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed. Oh, I have made kites in Liyueth for 40 years, and I am into... Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before! Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once. <sighs> yes. These details are masterfully done. <laughs> The compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... Well, allow me. Hey, right up to our hey, rescue. Hey, it's Child! I don't like either of these options. <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I get that I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. Suspicious. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps, you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The rite of parting requires helping hands as well as material. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining. Hmm. hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. And a most fair price. Mm. Ah, screw it. A pleasure doing business with you. The geo crystal flies are actually quite hard to find. So, um hmm, should I save this? Um does it actually like tell us? Oh, the cameras. Those are fun little gadgets. Okay, so I have thirty five hundred left. Alright, so, uh, 3,500. Up over here. A full day of odd jobs at Yujing Terrace. Hmm. Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you- Hero of Mons? Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. Just 
than this. I'm gonna go 15,000. That's too little. Hardly a f Okay, fine. as close as I was gonna get. This price will do. <laughs> Alright. But now we should be able to do the final bit of more to the last dock worker. I hope. I won't have to pull any extra funds out of my own pocket. Because I could have needed. Oh, he's up there. Okay, I'm going to need to do a bit of climbing then. Uh, navigating this city, this city takes a bit more than just good navigational skills. Oh, help? Sure. I tick. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over it. No problem. That'll be twenty thousand. Done. This is all you got? Uh, no can do, child. Uh, no, no, no. How about this? Let's make a trade. Get me a single chinkson flower, and I'll consider that payment for a deed. Guess we've got no choice. Honestly, I think I've already got chinkson's on the. Have you brought the goods? Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare. With this chinkson flower, I should be able to pacify my daughter tonight. <laughs> you gotta love that. Ugh. <sighs> Just down to the end of the road. Right over. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. Uh you think you can buy us off with some loose change? <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the north. What info do you need? Huh. Oh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right, Signora! <laughs> <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten it. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got. Uh. Not going to. Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need is everything. Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Simon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. Well, can't let him get to the Exuvia. Because if y'all remember. What Signora took back in Mondstadt was something called a Gnosis, or the center of one, of one godly abilities. At least, that's what we know. As for why they need Gnosis, um, is quite unclear still at the moment. If anyone has a clue, do not leave spoilers in the comments, as I have never gotten that far in my route. The furthest I have made it is to the end of Leeway before my own my own RPG instincts kind of fell at a halt because I was stupid Look, and didn't. The reception is deserted, and it seems kind of spooky in here. Go away from it the here. first time around. Hello. But now I am back is for a second try. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? Now here's an interesting did, bit of lore. Did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out, and Paimon will bring up the rear. Now this part of the story I actually quite love because it is so well done but absolutely hilarious in its own right. So. Uh, uh, 
Let's <sighs> see. How long has this episode been going? Okay. We need to bring it to a halt here, then. So, with that, I have been Sahara Void. Like, comment, subscribe, keep watching to keep seeing how this goes. If you want to get the game yourself, well, go look up Genshin Impact. Trust me when I say you'll find the website. It's really darn easy to get this going. Just know you need a big computer. <laughs> it's a big download <laughs> and it might take you a good few hours. It is as big as some other big RPGs uh, like WoW or things like that. Either way, I will leave you that as this episode. That was a pause.